welcome to this new initiative. I'm calling it Build This Viz. Every day I'm gonna build one new viz, sometimes more, but at least one. We'll see how far we can go, how many vizs we can create. Day one, we're talking about the horizontal bar chart, keeping it really simple. I'll show you how to make it and show some alternatives. I think I've got five different options here to start off day one to really get things kicked off. The goal, by the way, is to show you how to do this in Tableau so that you can replicate. Um, it's gonna be free form, it's not gonna be very structured. You'll watch me um and ah through it, but I think you'll learn quite a bit from it. So I'm going to go into Tableau, connected to the sample Superstore data set, and right now I'm using Tableau version 2020.4. I'm going to, I'm, this, today is going to be pretty easy. Hopefully you'll be able to follow along and I'll give you five different ways I do my horizontal bar charts. So here we are in Tableau. I'm going to go find a new subcategory for my analysis today. Subcategory just has 17 different subcategories broken out and I'm going to use sales, but I don't have any dollar signs on it so that I can just keep it as a label. And by default, I already have left my formatting for the very first option up here, which is not the default formatting, but I'm going to use it anyway because it's already there. I went through the video, I actually sh shot it and forgot to um, put up the, the screen, so I was sharing nothing and just talking over nothing. But my first option here, I've got mark labels showing up and I've got an axis. I don't need both, I only need one or the other. So if you're gonna have mark labels, show the mark labels and don't show the axis. If you're gonna have an axis, don't show the mark labels. In this case, I've got these horizontal dividers that I've put on my view. And I think I can reset my formatting. I forget how to do it, so I'm not even gonna worry about resetting it. I can right click and do some things. But Anyway, I'm going to right click and get my first one done here. It's actually the more complicated version. I've got things sorted alphabetically, but I'm just going to show my labels and have these horizontal dividers. These horizontal dividers, if we look at them, maybe I will format a little bit, but my horizontal dividers are not a dark gray horizontal divider. In fact, they're a very light row divider. If I look at the color, it's you know slightly off gray and it's not too stand out. It's frankly pretty simple when it comes down to it. And the bar size I've adjusted to be about half the total space of the, of my cell here, of this bar cell that goes all the way across. And that's intentional because I want to have about 50% white space to the actual value. If I really was doing this the way that I would do it, I would also just right click format, uh, sorry, click and sort and I would do the sort on this. In fact, I don't even need to right click and sort. I just hit the sort button and we'll have those sorting descending. So let's do that again. I'm going to do another option. I'm just going to take sales and bring that out of my view. And I'm also going to find subcategory and place that on my view. And I will fit this to the entire view and just do some adjustments. Like I said, this is one way I could just keep the standard viz completely acceptable. I would just sort it. However, if there's two things bothering me, if it's the art of the little here, the things to pay attention to, is I really want an axis ruler on my zero here. And I don't want this extra axis ruler that's down along this line here. I know it's really hard to see sometimes, but it's there and it will catch your eye. And the, just the art of the little will make things so much better. So I'm just going to come into formatting and I'm going to change my rows axis ruler to be pretty black. It's not all the way. You never want to go all black, just most of the way. And then my axis ruler on columns, I'm going to get rid of. And that's option number two. So option two done, I'm just going to duplicate here and we'll have option three. Maybe I'll just change this to sheet three while I'm at it. Sheet, sheet, there we go. Sheet, sheet three. Now that I have this solid grid line here, the other option is, like I said, to show mark labels. And if I want to show mark labels, that means I don't need to show my axis header. It doesn't need to be there. It's redundant information. It also means that I don't need my grid lines, which I can get rid of. So that's option number three. We've got, again, just reviewing, I've got the, just a, some formatting of the original where I've added row dividers and I don't have a solid line. Option number two, a solid line and an axis ruler. Option number three, 
an axis ruler but with labels and then the fourth option which I'm just again going to duplicate here is just doing some interesting formatting with my viz uh, I'll just I'm actually going to name this five for the time being and then let me delete this the small things we make mistakes on as we reshoot a video that was perfect the first time <laughs> Another option here is that I can just take my alignment, move it left aligned, and then I can just have my values next to my labels. Or a whole nother option, which is my last option here, is I can duplicate, and I'm gonna just change this to sheet five. I could go find subcategory, place that on text, go find sales, also place that on text. This appears because I don't have space for it, but I can format, move some things around, paste maybe I'll do a, a, a like a double bar here or something to make it look fancy um, and hit OK and then I could have the the sales next to the value which means I don't need this header so I could just right click and uncheck show header and that would give me my five versions for bar charts oh one last thing when I did this when I added my labels it adds a little gray line around the bars for whatever reason it's there you have to look very, really carefully, but if you watch as I remove the border and I change it from automatic to none, it just becomes a little more crisp. And that's uh, an easy call out. And while I'm at it, another complete option would be, let's just duplicate this, this one bar here, and then we'll call this sheet six. So we're actually going above and beyond. I'm probably stealing something for tomorrow, but let's just add a border all the way around it. And then we can change the color to be like a really light gray or something. I'm not really into this. Some people are into this outlining look, but to me, it's really hard on the eyes. If I'm going to use something like this, I would probably want to make the bars a little darker so that there's less contrast between the white and the bar color itself uh, and the outline. We need, our brain isn't going to cognitively get what's going on there anyway we got six chart types here very first build this viz session hopefully you're walking away with some ideas on how you can create horizontal bar charts that said we'll catch you in the next video